I'm Henry Captain. I'm Margaret Bernan. And both of us are professors of physics and fellows of JELA. And we run a very dynamic research group jointly at JELA that looks at how to generate and make use of light at very short wavelengths. Our research group explores the frontier of light matter interactions. And it, because light allows us to communicate with the microscopic quantum world of atoms and molecules. If you're interested in doing astrophysical theory, you go to JILA. So my group and I, we work on the collective gravity of stars that orbit supermassive black holes in the centers of galaxies. We're also really interested in the collective gravity of asteroids and comets and other small minor planets in our solar system. We study how proteins fold and how nucleic acid structures can affect different things in different cells. We're attempting to realize a transducer that can convert quantum information between microwave and optical frequencies. So this would be towards realizing a quantum internet. We have with these laser light x-ray beams, you can see things that you simply can't see with visible light. Yeah. And so that's one thing Henry and I love to do is to give our students new tools and then and they can go make the discovery. Yeah, let them and, explore themselves. And, and, and it is astounding what, what they, they find. find. So I may come up with some ideas. That's my job to be able to like see the field and see what's really interesting. What is a problem? What can we try and solve? The grad students are the ones who come up with innovative ways to actually address the problem. Everyone I spoke to, professors, grad students, postdocs, everyone said, you've got to find yourself an advisor in JILA. JILA is great. It's like a world-known place. You've just got to work in JILA if you're going to see you. I want to answer the very fundamental questions of how things work and why things happen. So I, that's why I pursued my graduate career. And I chose Jula because of the very collaborative environment. And since it's a very long time to be in school, I wanted to work with nice people, very supportive environments, and Jula provides all of those. Quantum information and quantum mechanics is something that has interested me since I learned about it as an undergrad. It's really cool the new, new problems that we're able to tackle and just how fast this field is progressing in the last couple decades. So the most exciting thing about JILA is that everyone is, is continuing educating themselves. I'm really impressed by, by this fashion of continuing learning and continuing catching the frontier of physics even though you, you, are, you already are a, a built figure in the physics community. I feel very prepared coming from JILA while looking for jobs because I've worked with so many people from different parts in the world. I have meetings, online meetings, a lot at random hours at 6 a.m. or 7 a.m. And I feel very prepared for COVID because I had so many meetings online already. We have many, many scientists across the world who would like to be collaborators with Jella just because of strong scientific visions and a strong commitment to technology development, uh, as well as a very strong effort of educating our next generation of students. Everyone is doing this crazy groundbreaking research and it's cool to be surrounded by that and to learn from other grad students and postdocs about all the cool things that they're doing. I received my PhD from Jela, and so I knew how powerful this educational experience in Jela has been for myself, but as well has been for many of my fellow students. It's still so thrilling to watch when a student makes their first discovery that nobody else in the world knows, and then they know they're a scientist. 